So we're in the third week of September and the rooster's crowing as usual. <laughs> uh, these plants, I've left them out here as long as I really feel like I should for this project. Uh, I'm sure they'll be fine for this demonstration. They're only about three feet tall, the best of them. But for uh, getting us through an air cure, this will be just fine. I can still show you what I'm going to do or what you should do if you want to uh, do an air cure on some uh, burly tobacco. And basically all I'm going to be doing is cutting these plants close to the ground and then hanging them up. I'll show you how I do that. So these bottom leaves are called sand lugs and they're not worth bothering with anyway. And these plants are embarrassingly small. Uh, good burly tobacco should be you know six to nine feet tall but like I've been saying this will do for the demonstration I'm just gonna cut it off and I'm gonna go hang these in the barn I didn't even bother to cut these uh, last few plants here. They had a really bad go with some tobacco worms a couple weeks ago. And uh, I killed the worms, but it looks like they pretty well had their way with this last few plants too. So I guess everybody's got to eat. I did cut the good ones. These are the sand lugs off of them. That's the leaves at the very bottom of the plant. They're really not worth messing with. So you may as well just cut them off and make a little room to hang your uh, plant stalks in the barn. This is my barn. It's nothing special. It's uh, just a barn and it has a door on the east and a door on the west that is going to uh, permit air to flow through there and cross those uh, plants to color cure the leaves. I'll show you what I did. So here's the high-tech method I use for hanging this tobacco. I drove nails in the rafter, stuck uh, a knife through the stalk of the tobacco, and then just slipped the stalk over the nails pretty typical you're just looking for a way to hang it whatever works at your house works you know during the course of this uh, series of videos you might notice that I did not touch on cultivating tobacco that information is available everywhere online what I'm trying to accomplish here is to show a traditional air cure uh, and then the uh, following processing and fermentation of the tobacco to uh, help you get a usable product that you can grow at home. So here's my meager little crop of uh, burly plants ready to air cure. I only hung up, what, half a dozen or so there, seven of them. They were the only ones worth keeping, and they're barely worth keeping, but uh, it wasn't a great tobacco season, but we got enough that I can move forward with this demonstration to show you how to air cure uh, burly tobacco in an air cure barn. Not that there's anything special about my barn. It has a door to the west and a door to the east. And what that does is creates airflow that's going to move across these leaves and color cure them over probably the next month to six weeks. I've gone ahead and uh, started this now because we're only about six weeks from the first frost. And uh, I need to make sure that I've got these cured before winter does come. I will uh, document the color curing for you and uh, let you see what happens. Thanks for watching.